Greetings, my name is Stan Houston, and I'm a, a teacher, a broadcaster, a modern media mentor, and a business performance coach. And today, with your permission, I'd like to ask you some questions and perhaps share a little bit of information that might be helpful and useful to you. I am the co-founder, after a long career, of the Christian Entrepreneur Network. The Christian Entrepreneur Network, and you can find us at tcenglobal.org. That's tcenglobal.org. And it all begins with a, a failure. That's right, a story of failure. After a long and what I thought was a successful career, my wife said to me, this is exactly what I was hoping when I married you. I was hoping that after 20 years of marriage, we would have no house, no car, no job, no money, broke, a kid in college. Then her tears and sarcasm turned to sobbing and she left. And right then I learned a significant lesson that I had taken all of that schooling, some of the best schools, graduate education, I'd never learned some of the key success principles in life because they don't teach you how to lead and live successfully in college and university. Far from it. It's a lesson you have to learn in your home, in your church, your worship community, in your fellowship with friends, and perhaps you might come across that rare teacher, that rare mentor, that rare coach who can help you become one of the 3% who know who they are, where they're going, what they are called to do, what their plan is for life, and how to work the plan, to do the job, and most importantly, do the work, to follow the call. Well, what I'd like to do today is to help you become, and I say it with a smile, one of those 3%, one of those most focused persons on planet Earth. <laughs> You oftentimes hear in that motivational stuff, focus, 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 get focused. Well, that's good advice. But uh, how do you do that? <laughs> well, a number of years ago, there was a radio show, and it became literally a TV show, and obviously it's a game people play. It's called 20 Questions. You come up with, you know, something, <laughs> and then, of course, people can ask 20 questions, and guess what the something is? Well, in my life experience as a business performance coach and as a teacher and as a broadcaster, and now hopefully a friend to you, I have come up with what I call the seven important questions to get you started. Now, I actually have 20 of them. And if you have the answer to all 20, you truly are one of the most focused persons on planet Earth. But may I give you just the seven questions that will get you started? Let me begin by saying this. Question number one. A question asked by both St. Augustine and Peter Drucker. When you have lived your life, how do you want to be remembered? Peter Drucker later on said that uh, in his career of coaching and consulting that he finally discovered that unless a leader, an executive, could not answer that question, he couldn't help them. Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. But it goes back to St. Augustine. When you're gone, what do you want people to say about you? How do you want to be remembered? RCA. You hear your master's voice and they say, in my relationships, in my character, in my achievements, how do you want to be remembered? When they bury you, when they put you away, when they burn you up, when you're no longer here, except that your spirit will live on, how do you want to be remembered? Can you tell me that? Can you tell me a story about that? Can you do that? Now let's get even more practical. In your work, what are you very good at? And how are you using this talent, this strength, this gift to make your mark in your work, in your industry? What are you very good at? You're good at it. 
You do it well. You've worked hard. You're very good at something. I guarantee you, if you're not very good at something, you could be. You could be a world-class expert. You could be the best. What are you the best at? One of the best. And how are you using that gift, that strength, that God-given ability to make your mark in the place where you're called to make your marketplace contribution? That's question number two. Question number three. What is the most effective means at your disposal for getting people to trust you, believe you, follow you, even buy from you? How are you using that skill? May I say that again? What is the most effective means at your disposal of getting people to trust you, believe you, follow you, even buy from you? Some 80 years ago, <laughs> Dale Carnegie, how to, you know, win friends and influence people. Do you know how to do that? We actually have a modern day Christian update which we're putting together now at the Christian Entrepreneur Network, and we call it Making Good Friends and Making Your Mark. And we ask the classic question, are you making your mark? As St. Paul says, press toward the mark, or are you just marking time? Just thought I would ask. Well, those were the top three. What is clear to you now? One of my favorite questions. What is clear to you now? It's reported, another story, that when Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau, as they meandered around Walden Pound in Concord, Massachusetts, these two great transcendental philosophers, when they would meet, they would simply ask the question, since we last met, what is clear to you now? The great gift of clarity is fundamental to effective living. What is clear to you now? As it was said of the men and women of Issachar who followed King David, uh, they understood the times and they knew what to do. Do you have that kind of gift or that kind of group or that kind of help so you can better understand the times and know what to do? Well, let's go on with a few more questions in this little teach about. Why should people pay you for what you do? <laughs> I find that most people can't tell me. You want to get paid for what you do. Uh, why should they do that? Why should they pay you? Because you show up? Because you just do the job? Always be prepared to know why you are worth what you say you're worth. Maybe you're even worth more <laughs> than they pay you. You better be. Why should people pay you for what you do? Can you tell me that? Do you know that? If it comes to a presentation where you have to sell yourself, which you do every day in the marketplace, what do you do that is worth people giving you money? Again, think about that. Question number five. What causes 80% of the frustration, tension, stress, and pressure in your life? That's right. 80% of the frustration, tension, stress, and pressure in your life. We're told that everyone's stressed out. How do you plan to deal with, reduce, and diminish those situations? What's your stress reduction plan? Are you working it? Is it clear to you? Can you imagine how much more effective and powerful and poised and purposeful you would be if you could even view every interruption as a way to go and grow 
And those things that distract you, those things that distress you, you knew how to deal with them because they will come. Because you know that life is difficult, but you can deal with it. Number six, in your position, wherever that might be, in your situation, whatever that might be, given your present level of leadership and responsibility, what is the most significant thing you could seek to achieve in the next five years? Okay, maybe three, <laughs> maybe six months, but let's start with five. The good Lord gives you five more years in the work you are doing. What is the most significant thing you could seek to achieve in the next five years? Number seven. What are the three most important beliefs or principles that you want to pass on to your children, to the next generation, to the people you care about? Can you tell me, what are the three most important beliefs, principles, maybe practices, that you want to pass on to your children? This is how you want to be remembered again, because you passed on principles and beliefs that help them become more fully alive, help them become more successful. Well, let me tell you what is clearer to you now. If you can answer these seven questions, you are on your way to becoming one of the most focused persons on planet Earth. By the way, I have 13 more, but let's just start with the seven. I'm Stan Houston. My job in life is just to help make things clearer to you. I'm no great guru. I'm just kind of a slightly overeducated disc jockey, but I love to teach. I love to broadcast. I love to mentor, and I love to coach you in your business because everybody has one. Everybody has a business. Everybody has a contribution to make. And I want you to be able to do what you do. And I want you to do it well. And I want you to be fully alive. Fully in God's good grace and presence when you do what you are made for. And perhaps even what you are called for. I'm Stan Houston. This is TCEN Global, the Christian Entrepreneur Network. TCENglobal.org. We'd love to help you. If this has been helpful to you, we'd ask you to go there and make a contribution, perhaps a donation. Uh, we are uh, just here to help you, and we would appreciate all the help and uh, contributions that you can do for us. If we can help you by uh, coaching you in any way, you can reach out at 520-664-7002. 520-664-7002. Uh, Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. All the best and blessings to you, and bye for now.